Good morning, Metulana. I'm Caitlin Reeves. And I'm Maddie Reeves. And we're with your WMCA newscast. Today's February 10th, 2016. Fun fact of the day, Apple's co-founder sold all of his shares for $800, which is now worth $35 billion today. Why can't we all be successful like that? True. Um, now here's Landon with some more upcoming announcements. Thank you, Caitlin and Madison. National Junior Honor Society induction is this Thursday, the 11th. Congratulations to all the students who have worked hard to become part of this society. Progress reports go out on February 16th. We thought we'd give you enough notice so you can get your grades up before your parents see them. Join us for chapel next Wednesday the 17th to hear Dr. Michael Brown. He is an author, international speaker, and biblical scholar. He will tackle the controversies, engage the culture, and challenges the status quo. Michael Brown is the director of Coalition of Conscience and president of Fire School of Ministry. He has a great message that you want to be taking notes on. Campus United will meet next Friday the 19th for its monthly gathering. This is open to all middle and high school students. The speaker is junior Drew Moore. Seniors, the next breakfast is Thursday the 25th. Tell your parents now so they have time to plan. Speaking of seniors, you have to leave for the Disney class trip on the 29th. Last week, Donnie went around to find out if you should be a U.S. citizen. I have faith in you, but let's see what you said. Who signs the deal is to become laws? I should know this, but I have no idea. Okay. Who is the Vice President of America? Joe Biden. <laughs> Who is the Vice President of America? Obama. If the President can no longer serve, who becomes President? I would say the Vice President. If both the President and the Vice President can no longer serve, who becomes the President? Vladimir Putin. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Um, Democrat and Republican. What country is South of the United States? Mexico. <laughs> can you name three of the 13 colonies? Uh, Virginia, New York, Pennsylvania. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Who signs bills to become laws? Uh, I don't know. Can you name the last three presidents? I can name them all. Please name them all. Okay. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adams, Jackson, and Buren, Harrison, Tyler, Polk, Taylor, Fillmore, Pierce, Buchanan, Lincoln, Johnson, Grant, Hayes, Garfield, Arthur, Cleveland, Harrison, Cleveland, McKinley, Roosevelt, Taft, Wilson, Herding, Coolidge, Hoover, Roosevelt, Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Obama. Well, there you have it. The Russian leader would be our president. Mrs. Lockridge can name too many presidents to count. And fifth readers are smarter than everyone else in the world. Now to Donnie with some athletic updates. Those were some interesting answers. The NCISA Varsity Wrestling Tournament is on Friday, February 19th and Saturday the 20th. All of our winter teams had a great season and are now wrapping up. Tryouts for spring sports are February 16th, 17th, and 18th. Make sure to get your physical up to date and good luck to those trying out. Now here's Ms. Dow's class with your weekly devotion. Mike Ryan. Relaxation is satisfying. Without family, there is no happiness. If Netflix isn't life, then what is life? All is life. Winning is happiness. Happiness is fancy toys. Whenever you name something in creation as the thing that will satisfy you, you are asking that thing to be your personal savior. The physical created world was designed to be glorious, but these glories cannot satisfy your heart. If you ask them to, your heart will be empty and you will be frustrated and discouraged. He is the rest you crave, the joy you long for, and the comfort your heart desires.
promotion. Seventh grader Liam Grossman put this together. Good job, Liam. Now I have a few updates for middle school students. On January 28th, qualifying middle school and lower school students attended the ACSI Geography B. We had a few students who placed in the middle school. Sixth grader Eliza Hacker finished sixth overall, seventh grade Jack Lawrence finished third, and eighth grader Michael Decker finished ninth. Great job. Last Friday, the fifth, selected students participated in the school spelling bee. The top four in each grade will go on to participate in the ACSI bee. Now the overall winner for middle school was seventh grader Kaylee Nelson. Great job, Kaylee. And good luck to all of those who will compete later this month. This Thursday, National Junior Honor Society is having their annual induction ceremony. Many students are being inducted for their hard work in the academic arena. The list of students will be accepted into the society. Great job to those who have been diligent and hard workers. Now that's all I have for you and back to Caitlin and Maddie at the desk. Thank you for all those announcements, Ms. Ferguson. Your news media team has released the new edition of Battle Cry Newsletter. Be sure to check it out. The issue is emailed to you in your student email and can be found on some of our social media sites. Prom tickets are now on sale. You can purchase tickets and pay for them on RunWeb. If you have questions about this event, you can see Mrs. Ferguson before or after school. For right now, check this video. to say the least. We hope everyone decides to attend prom and make memories of their own. NCA Night at Meds is on the 25th. Mark it on the calendar and come out and support your school. Remember that there will be no school the 12th or the 15th. Have a great weekend and stay safe. Now here's your slice of advice for the week. If you want something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done.